for example. Animals that will not or cannot get up and stand on their own should not be loaded onto a truck or trailer. Likewise, animals should not be loaded if it is likely they will become downers or non-ambulatory while in transit. Those animals should either receive veterinary care or be euthanized, humanely killed, and taken to an inedible rendering facility. Animals being transported to a veterinarian should never be dragged or pushed, but should be handled with care. They should not be transported to an auction barn because downer animals cannot be slaughtered at a processing plant. Since the packers cannot take these animals that become downers en route to the packing house, we need to make sure that animals that are weak or in poor body condition that have the potential to be downers are not loaded onto that truck. If there's any that are, that are, let's say, moderately at risk, so we think that there's a high likelihood that they'll make the trip without any problem, those animals should still be loaded on the back of the truck rather than the front so that, that if there is a problem, that animal then can be more humanely and easily removed from the truck and in many cases, when that animal is taken out to dry ground, that animal can get up and walk because the truck, of course, is going to be slick because of the metal floors and because of the manure and urine that will be deposited there when the animals are being transported. Sometimes a driver may be asked to transport unfit or weakened cattle. Generally, these are cull cows and tend to be older, thinner, and more susceptible to feet and leg problems, as well as hypothermia during winter transport. When transporting these cows, special accommodations should be made both for transporting and unloading, and the trip should be no longer than 200 to 300 miles. Weak animals that have or may have difficulty walking or standing should not be transported. In any case, if cull cows are accepted, they must be loaded last, provided with bedding, and kept separate from the healthier, stronger animals. If they become non-ambulatory during transport, they are considered to be downer animals. As a driver, if you're loading on a ranch situation or even a sale barn situation, uh, if you notice an animal that uh, has a, a bad leg or something that's not correct, uh, that needs to be pointed out and documented before you load that animal uh, so that it doesn't come back on your carrier uh, if that you know, injury happened before it, it got on the trailer.